Manchester United uninspiringly draw away at Aston Villa and the United Twins need to speak about it. United, United. Do we really need to speak about it though, bro? I wish we didn't need to, but say no more. <laughs> Bless us everybody inside. Aston Villa nil, Manchester United nil, and there isn't really much to say in terms of action. Funny enough, in the vibe check, we spoke about Villa's result and how there would have been the possibility of them coming out a little flat because of the emotional toll of their Champions League success against Bayern Munich. We saw, however, that the game didn't just suffer from one side lacking in quality, but both. Fair enough, we travelled back from Porto, but how many times can you accept hearing about spirit and togetherness when clearly those characteristics are hardly discovered on a consistent basis in united performances yes i would say we defended better as a side johnny evans and harry Maguire were the wholesale changes in defense interestingly evans ended up with the man of the match award and even then this conversation could have been speaking about another loss for this team if Diogo Delo did a block Jaden Philogene strike and added time as Ian Matson's low cross passed many to find a 22 year old. It, it was a big opportunity for them. Who knows, man? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, we also could have snatched something if Alejandro Garnacho's final delivery was on point. But once again, if that was the story of this game, the shots I can remember were from distance, not really threatening Emmy Martinez. If anything, routine saves for a keeper of his caliber. Bruno hit the crossbar from a free kick. Rashford had a couple strikes. Garnacho also. But when it came to our overall build-up, it was an uninspiring watch, as you said at the start, see. I agree with most of what you said. Now, in back-to-back -back seasons, Manchester United have broken their own record in terms of worst starts. The seven games, it was nine points, three wins and four losses. This season, eight points after winning twice, drawing twice and losing three times. <sighs> Extremely concerning. And at the end of the day, it's just the surface. You can't control games. Possession is not the entire story either because when we do have possession of the football, it matters what you do with it. From time to time, we have our moments, yes, but ultimately, Creating high-level opportunities are few and far between against decent to high-level opposition. Today, we showed a level of solidity. Cool, but another thing I'll ask is why the manager only adjusts in moments of desperation? And it wasn't total solidity either. When writing seems to be on the wall, that's when tactical adjustments tend to appear. And really, it was all safe. Can we be happy with that? Should we be happy with that? Another thing is the lack of cohesion we display as a collective. You can mention the new players all you want, but with players who have been familiar, playing together for years, we still seem so distant. Miscommunications offensively, in the midfield presenting gaps that are played through with ease and more. Not just elements of this subdued and lackadaisical performance, but a string of games. International break pending, a much needed one if you ask me, but the question I'll leave everyone with is whether you truly believe there will be a, a change of hands during this break. Reading up about this meeting, it seems as if there are different areas of discussion due to it being scheduled a while back. I'm sure the state of the team will be at the forefront of conversations, but I've also gained an opinion of Ineos being pragmatic when it comes to making definitive decisions. That can be perceived as good or bad, but I think it's warranted when, for the best part of a decade, nothing but ill-advised decisions have been finalised time and time again, leading to the deterioration of this football club and how Manchester United is perceived around Europe. Those things go hand in hand at the end of the day. Brentford will be the first game back from this week, international break, and then for the Bashe and West Ham will follow. The games will keep on coming and as it stands, it's a lack of enthusiasm on my part. How about you, bro? <sighs> if you see my reactions on a weekly, then you understand what's going on. Training, to say the least. But, but look, we've been here too long already, man. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Subscribing if you're new. Sharing to your friends and frenemies. And 
look out for a couple of things this week. If all goes well, the booth is back open for business. One side told me patience, the other is out and asking for fate to push for a flip of a coin, calling for heads to gather on top of a stake. Until the next time, we'll see you lot soon. Uh,